Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another battle and I'm going to keep focusing on MLG Columbus 2011 basically because there's still several matchups that they weren't covered properly and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys might be curious about them. This is one of them. Um, I set on the side several replays from several series that haven't been covered yet and um, hopefully this is going to be a nice series. Best out of three between two very high profile members of the community. Let me just present them spawning here on this south position of the Zalaga Caverns, we're gonna have Liquid Rat, the Dutch Zerg player loves his macro gaming, as you guys know he's a beast playing Zerg, and um, keep in mind that this guy is very experienced, a veteran playing uh, Starcraft 1 and Starcraft 2, he was one of the few that even tried his luck and went to Korea back in the days of Brood War to attempt his luck there and see how well he would be able to handle the pressure, uh, so a sign of uh, quality and much respect for Rat here representing his team, Team Liquid, and trying to grab a nice result on the MLG Columbus. And he's going to be facing against this tremendous Protoss that, boy, I'm starting to feel a bit like a stalker because I've been covering all of his matches on MLG Columbus. It's OGSMC once more, huge Protoss player, one of the main references in Korea and amongst the best in the whole world. And they're going to be duking it out here for our delight on this game one in Zalaga Cavern. So, um, taking a look at what's happening here, we do see Red coming out with his drone, going for that fast hatch, and MC following him with his probe, spotted everything, so now he has some decisions to make. Keep in mind that Red loves his macro gaming, obviously he might be taking some chances. I do see that here on the north position where MC spawned, we do have a forge coming out after the gateway, and this might be spelling trouble for uh, Red, because I think that MC is just making his decisions, taking the wiser one, and I think it might be related with some photon cannon harass on that natural axle. He's just taking advantage of the fact that Rat doesn't have much of a defense at the moment. He committed a lot of resources to get that hatchery up, and now he's gonna be in trouble. He's gonna have to deal with the pylon and be followed by photon cannons, I'm assuming spawning pool like 75% done, the gas is getting picked up as well, and Red doesn't seem like he's willing to cancel this, so he might be forced to have to defend this properly. For now he's pulling some workers out, trying to harass the probe and stop her from uh, uh, placing anything else, but no, there goes the photon cannon, and plenty of workers here getting a nice surround on this photon cannon, trying to put it down before it gets finished, but we do notice that on MC's side there's zealots advancing, nice, he cancelled that one, so nice defense there by Red. There it is, he's chrono boosting more and more zealots out of that single gateway. And this probe trying to place more photon cannons. Oh, nice surround by Red, but no, MC was able to escape. Nice micro there. And now we have Red just being forced to get a nice defense here, putting out the first batch of Zerlings to fight against this single zealot. Zealot is just stabbing all of the units from Red. And there's a spine crawler on this corner getting ready to pop. And it will be a tremendous help to finish off these photon cannons. Three of them almost finished, and this is going to be really troublesome. F Red focusing his fire on one of them, MC cancelling it, and the other one is really weak, but no, it's still going and blasting away at the forces that Red was sending to his natural expo. Now, two photon cannons focusing fire on that spine crawler, Red cancelling it, and a single queen with three zerglings. This is not enough to defend against this amount of aggression. Red is trying to mass up more units, but those zealots just slice and chew through of that zergling and worker force so, so easily. The Queen trying to focus fire on this Photon Cannon that is really, really weak, but now with three Zealots, oh, we just got completely sliced and chopped to bits, and forcing Red to GG out of this match. M way too much pressure there, that uh, decision making by MC was uh, obviously efficient and brilliant, he just considered his options and when he saw Red going for the fast hatch, he decided to lay down a... Um, a forge and go for some photon cannon harass and he paid off. Apparently he might even be planning something ahead, he does have a pylon down here, maybe he would be considering any kind of transition if this wouldn't work, but worked perfectly, he's taking game one out of Red's hands, really quick game, but to well I guess the things are just like this. Let's go for game two guys and let's see if Red can handle the pressure to tie up this series and take it to an ace match. See you all later, have fun.